Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know on this channel, we like to dive into the story of Call of Duty. And recently we've been diving into the story of season two, discussing characters like Naga, but there was something bigger that I wanted to discuss. And it's the new location inside Warzone called the Vodianoi or the Shipwreck. And this is going to be the biggest thing moving forward on the map because I believe it is going to progress the story to an eventual nuclear event. Now. We have talked about this on the channel before and discussed what I thought the story was going to be, but as it turns out, the story is quite a little bit different. I wasn't totally wrong, but there was one big mistake I made in that video, and it was an assumption, and you'll see what I mean when we actually get there. Now, this story is hugely important because not only does it bring zombies to Verdansk, but on top of that, it also shapes the future, the nuke, what's going to happen next, and that is what we are going to be diving into today. But to understand that, you first have to understand the full story of the Vodianoi. So this actually began a couple weeks before season two started with a transmission that we received on the rebirth map. This is what it said. Now, obviously I don't speak Russian, but what I can do is get someone Russian on the internet to translate it. And what it translates to is this. This is the Vodianoi. We are requesting permission to transport goods to Verdansk. Cargo is secured. All systems are in order. We are preparing to leave. And then they hang up. Now, if you didn't already know, this was a ship that was actually off the coast of Rebirth Island when the map was first brought to Warzone. As you can see, you can see it here. But since then, that has been removed. The ship is now gone. It actually slowly disappeared after this little transmission happened. The thing that you need to know about this boat is that the most likely thing that it is containing is Nova 6 gas. Okay, so a little bit of background information about this. We know from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops Cold War that Rebirth Island was used to produce a Nova 6 gas. We know this because Stitch, one of the new characters in season one, was one of the people producing it on Rebirth Island. On top of this, the entire story of Black Ops 1 was around Frederick Steiner producing this on Rebirth Island, and by the end of Black Ops 1, that's where Alex Mason comes in, kills Steiner, pretends to be Reznov, all of that good jazz. So we know that Rebirth Island is completely based around Nova 6 gas, Frederick Steiner, all of these bad guys, including Stitch, and now we know Naga is working under him as well, but he is off in Laos, so that's not too important right now. So the boat is there on Rebirth Island, this transmission happens, and then a few days later, it disappears. It goes off into the distance. And then a few days later, we then start to see it on Verdansk. So if you looked off into the ocean, you could see a storm cloud coming and underneath was the Vodian Noah. And at that same time, we got another transmission. <laughs> So this transmission has a lot more to do with what is going on the ship. This is what it says. Captain Rosenthal speaking. Russian ship blank. He kind of cuts out and then it says happened. We were transporting strange biological material. What have we done? There was an infection outbreak. I'm afraid we won't be able to contain it. And then he screams. So since then, I was sent this hat. Now, this hat, assumably, is Captain Rosenthal's hat, and there is blood all over it. So seemingly, things didn't turn out so well for him. But there is something you didn't know about Captain Rosenthal. What I assumed is that Rebirth Island was actually happening in the year 
2020. And they just sent the boat over and then it got overwhelmed by zombies, but that's not actually what happened. In a little briefing by Treyarch, this is what they had to say about the Vodianoi. Nineteen eighty four, and the Vodnoi ship has just left Rebirth Island with some precious cargo. Unfortunately for the captain and his crew, it'll never reach its final destination. It'll be gone, lost at sea for thirty seven years, until one day it appears, crashing into Verdance. What it brought with it? Well, some new friends. So obviously the new friends there are zombies, but the more interesting part about this is the boat was lost at sea for 37 years. Yet as we know, Captain Rosenthal was still on the boat. So it is once again that time where we put on our tinfoil hats and try to decide how in the hell is that possible? And I actually have a pretty good answer. So first things first, you have to acknowledge the fact that the boat wasn't lost for 37 years, like they said. If it was, Captain Rosenthal wouldn't be alive. He would have died from starvation, the boat would have ran out of fuel, he would have gone crazy. There are many, many options here. However, there is another option, and about a week before Season 2 was launched, and before Treyarch even said this, at GAV607 on Twitter sent me this video that he put together. So in 1984, we have Rebirth Island, and as we know, that is when the Vodianoi is docked there. And at this time, they decide that they are going to send some Nova 6 gas over to Verdansk. So they leave in 1984, but don't arrive until the year 2019. So at this time, we know that they're carrying zombies materials, and the only thing that would make sense is if they literally time travel. And the only way that we know currently works within the Call of Duty universe is the portals. The portals from zombies could transport them from one area to another and seemingly also through time. So again, this is why we have the tinfoil hat on. Time travel has never really been in Call of Duty, maybe in zombies, but not in the main story. And because of this, it's a little bit far-fetched. The only other thing that would make sense is if that transmission was recorded earlier when the zombies attack happened on the boat and it was just kind of floating at sea until eventually the current took it into Verdansk. That's also completely possible. And you can let me know down in the comments what theory you believe in. Personally, I believe that the transmission was sent much earlier when the zombies attack happened and it was just received by Verdansk in 2020. But the zombies portal, that one's a little cooler. Now, needless to say, whatever theory you believe in, it's inevitable that zombies are now on Verdansk. They're at the shipwreck area. The one thing that people have been confused by is the terminals found throughout the Verdansk map that display 5%. Now, doing a little bit of math and very easy math, if we look at the named locations on the Warzone map, there is 20 of them. One of them currently has zombies on it. 5% of the map. So what we can assume is that number is going to go up and the zombies outbreak is going to spread. Now, the other thing that has happened at the same time, which obviously can't be coincidental, is that they have opened up some missile silos. Now, they did state in the patch notes that some areas have closed off due to contamination, like bunkers, like the subway, to stop the spread of the virus. So clearly, they are doing things in reaction to the zombies outbreak. Similarly, you would assume that the missile silos are also opening up for the same reason. So the big question is, is what happens next? Well, I think the next step is that zombies outbreak is going to spread. That number is going to jump up from 5% and slowly spread across the entire map until we're close to 100%. And at that point, the island or Verdansk is completely taken over. But here's where things get interesting. Based off of the cutscene that happened before all of this on Warzone, once you collected all of the intel, you found out that Captain Price actually has the bunker code. He has the nuclear launch codes, and he can launch a nuke on Verdansk. And in fact, based off of Call of Duty canon, in Modern Warfare 2, he actually did this to defend the USA from some launched missiles. He launched a missile and then used it as an EMP to block all of the missiles going towards the United States. So a defensive nuke is not out of the question for Captain Price. And this is the current rumor, is that there's going to be a nuke event at the one year anniversary for Warzone, which is March 11th, which just so happens to be when the outbreak event ends on Warzone. Now, because of this, there's been rumors as to what happens to the map after this. You may have seen a couple of images going around that I can't show you that are literally 
literally the war zone map that looks like a bunch of Doritos have been placed on top of it. That's one idea as to what is going to happen. Personally, I think that is fake. We're going to have to wait and see. I also talked about in previous videos how we could have a flashback that shows up on screen that says 37 years earlier, and it shows us Verdansk during the Cold War, and they can implement some of the Ural Mountains maps that are currently in the outbreak mode. Both options are good. What one happens? Well, I guess we're going to have to wait and find out. So ladies and gentlemen, that is this full story of the Vodianoi. I think I'm saying it properly at this point, but you guys can correct me down in the comments. As far as its story goes, I think it's pretty interesting that it originated in 1984 and just landed in Verdansk now. It's going to be interesting to see where the story goes, so let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, always appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date on everything Call of Duty, if you like my story videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard.